Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing slash eating this new ramen I found. Uh, cut my eye. It had kumamon on it. I was like, okay, that's pretty cute. I was looking for um, dry ramen noodles to eat with um, that are like kind of more higher quality. I want to eat with like a different kind of soup. Um, but these cut my eye. These are kind of like an in um, kind of a stovetop ramen. It comes with like a bunch of. Uh, already opened. I've already tried this before, and I, um, but I, I want to do this again for the camera here. So um, you have like these little dry kind of spaghetti style. Not sorry, sorry, these are like kind of more ramen-ish noodles here, and they have. Um, Kind of a classic kind of sauce packet or soup packet and some like tata soy sauce thing to eat with that. Uh, this is made by like, this Itsuki brand. I don't know. This is not very familiar to me. Obviously, I cannot read Japanese, um, but it's kind of a classic stove top ramen. I can only discern. That just means to boil the noodles for a couple minutes, add in the soup um, packet, soy sauce packet in there, and you got kind of a, uh, it comes out as like kind of a um, shoryu kind of soy sauce ramen-ish here. As you can see here has, um, it's called Itsuki Kumamoto, Kumamoto Kumaman Ramen. Let's see what it has in here. Noodles, salt, sesame oil, soy. And yeah, so it's kind of just like a classic soy ramen, I see. Alright, pretty straightforward. Okay, I'm gonna cook this up and I'll get back to y'all. Back. Alright, so we are back here. I got my bowl of ramen ready here my front camera on this. I can't really see what's going on here, but this is the end product here. So we got these kind of thin or straight noodles here. These aren't like especially thin, but um, we've got this kind of brown soy broth here. Okay, a little dense. All right, and I'm making this plain for the sake of the review. Um, um, what was I saying? I'll get back to that one in a little bit. Um, but this is uh, Itsuki's Kumamon Ramen. Alright, let's go ahead and go in. See how it tastes. Take another bite. Reach the noodles in the broth. Okay. What do I think? This is not a bad ramen. Um, for actually pretty decent um the noodles are pretty good they're straight they're have this kind of chew to them you don't really need to cook them very long they only cook them for a couple minutes so they're kind of a bit i don't know they like this kind of fresher taste or texture to them um than you would get from like a um, Ichiban ramen or something like a Maritan ramen or something like that. Um, the soup, it's uh, the broth is pretty light, um, kind of a soy broth, not too 
Not too much. Um, honestly, not much going on to it. I would add, if I were to uh, add filling to this, I would probably have some sort of meat or protein to that. So like egg or uh, preferably meat to give it some kind of more um, flavor or something like spam or bacon or whatever you have in the fridge. Um, maybe some onion or garlic or corn. Great. Those are kind of some of my go-to things. I'll put on ramen here. Um, just to kind of get some more flavors in the bowl. Um, I think, yeah, this is really good. Kind of another one of those ramens have a really good template for or baseline for like extra toppings you want to put on. Um, it is a stove top ramen, of course. You know, so it's not something you can just pop in the microwave or um, or just like put some boiling water over. Okay, so you're gonna have to, it took me maybe like a few minutes for the water to boil, a couple of minutes for the noodles to cook, and then like 30 seconds to kind of put it all together. So it's pretty quick, um, which I like, so that if you have some stuff in your kitchen you wanna add on to this, so egg, meat, veggies, stuff like that. Um, there's definitely kind of time to prep those as well, even if you're kind of looking for like a quick lunch or dinner here. Um, but I found it pretty nice. Um, but yeah, um, let me take a couple more bites, see what else I think about this. Yeah, soup kind of has the soy, oniony taste to it. Um, nothing too, like, too much going on. But again, that's where, like, kind of the toppings get in, put into place. Um, let's see. But yeah, this is, it's decent. Um, Show you all the packets. Other much, yeah. To kind of summarize, kind of decent quality noodles. Let me get the. There we go. So summarize: decent quality noodles, um, kind of simple soup, which isn't necessarily bad. I usually don't drink that much out of the broth from these instant ramens because it's kind of a lot of very intense, very salty flavor, <clears throat> but. Um, this is pretty bearable, pretty tolerable. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, and it kind of leaves a lot for you to kind of add top toppings onto, um, to add kind of more flavors on top of that as well. Okay. So you're gonna add like meat or seaweed or vegetables and or like um, like chili oil or something like that or hot sauce and it'll be kind of, it won't have like this overpowering flavor because of all those things on it. So yeah, I would try this out if you're like someone that um, does kind of tend to uh, spruce up like the ramen, likes to do like so tough ramen. Um, this is pretty good, it's pretty quick, easy, it took me like five minutes to make this, not too hard. Um, kind of similar to other stove top ramen, it's pretty similar process, all right, but I would, Definitely give this a recommend. And this is, what's it called? Itsuku, uh, Itsuki Kumamoto Kumaman Ramen. All right, I got this at H Mart. Okay. All right, so that's my review. I'll see y'all maybe next time, however long I mean. Oh, I just realized it has like two and then two people, I think. Is that what it means? Was for two people or two servings. I don't know. I can't read Japanese very well. All right. I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye.